Yo, yo, yo! What's up, everybody? Yeah, yeah! Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. Today, we're talking about the fat loss wonder drug. The most hyped natural holistic supplement on the planet. You've heard about it. Your hippie grandmother has been telling you about it. And Uncle Mike is here to tell you the truth about it. We are speaking about none other. Joe Blogs first in the online chat. We're talking about none other than ACV. No, 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 not the the outspoken progressive liberal congresswoman from New York. We're talking about apple cider vinegar. That's right, everybody. ACV, apple cider vinegar. And I've getting, been getting a lot of questions lately for whatever reason. Maybe Gwyneth Paltrow has been talking about it or, or your favorite um, Hollywood celebrity that doesn't really know what they're talking about. But I digress. We've been hearing a lot about apple cider vinegar, and I thought I would jump in and share my thoughts with you. Also share some of the science to which I'm going to read for you and uh, tell you practically, should you be consuming apple cider vinegar as a part of your fat loss regimen? Well, I will say that if you actually do a quick YouTube search of apple cider vinegar, you will see the heavy hitters from the YouTube fitness world. I mean, we're talking about Dr. Oz. You know, I mean, Dr. Oz, he's always on the cutting edge of what actually works. He's not just trying to fill time and selling spots on his show, right? Dr. Oz, his show isn't pay to play where you actually, the guests pay Dr. Oz to actually be on the show. They would never do that. Who else do we have? We have, oh, wait, we have, what's this guy's name? Dr. Mike, you know, Dr. Mike, now infamous, disgraced, um, um, you know, uh, um, you know, a handsome doctor who's out there partying on boats with no masks while telling everyone they should wear masks. You know, Dr. Mike, he's out there with the AC video. We have Jeff Nippard from the bodybuilding, all natty, half natty, fake natty. I don't know. Jeff Nippard, big channel, though. Jeff Nippard going through the apple cider vinegar. Uh, We have the motivational doc, the chiropractor that tells you all about nutrition and these magic ways in order to lose weight, lose fat. But, you know, I mean, he doesn't really look like he takes his own um, advice. We have Dr. Eric Berg, another chiropractor that's like bone thin. I mean, he probably should go to a chiropractor. But anyway, (laughs) I digress. I digress. Now, so, you know, there's there's millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of views on videos relating to apple cider vinegar. And I'm going to break down the science here for you um, in one more second. Now, you guys have heard about apple cider vinegar, right? You, you people talk about it. Your grandma talks about it. More of the holistic kind of like hippie, crunchy, earthy people speak about it as if it's the holy grail. And I want to tell you, does it actually work? This video is really going to focus on the fat loss benefits of apple cider vinegar. Does it actually help you burn body fat, lose body fat? Well, let me share some background for you uh, right now about apple cider vinegar. Um, Let's get a little bit apple cider vinegar. So, you know, is a made in a two step fermentation process. First, apples are cut or crushed and combined with yeast to convert the sugar into alcohol. Second, bacteria is added to ferment the alcohol into acetic acid. Traditional apple cider vinegar production takes about one month, though some manufacturers dramatically accelerate the process so that it only takes one day, and that becomes a little less efficacious in our opinion. Uh, The acetic acid is the main component of apple cider vinegar. People don't know that. Also known as ethanoic acid, it is an organic compound with a sour taste and a very strong odor. I got a funny, funny, funny apple cider vinegar from the fight world, actually, (sighs) after this quick little video. The term acetic comes from acetum, the Latin word for vinegar. Now, about 5 to 6% of apple cider vinegar co- consists of acetic acid. It also contains water and trace amounts of other acids such as malic acid. One tablespoon of apple cider vinegar contains about three calories and virtually no carbs. So, I mean, is it keto friendly? 
We'll talk about that here in a second. But you want to know about the fat loss components of apple cider vinegar. Now, as we go through, as we look at the study, we find that the vast majority of all the studies have been done on animals. And that gives us a little snapshot as to what actually might be worth studying or noting in the real world with human use. Now, unfortunately, the studies on humans are ridiculous in that there's really no discernible benefit with regards to fat loss while consuming apple cider vinegar. So I just kind of cut through about 30 different studies out there. The answer is no, no. What? Wait, 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 wait. The answer is no. Apple cider vinegar does not, will not help you lose body fat. It doesn't help you lose body fat. It is not a fat burning agent. It doesn't have any lipotropic properties. It will not enhance your ability to release these, these, the, the stored fat, but wait, but wait, there's more apple cider vinegar and this is what all the studies say and this is why you have all these 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 you know tom dixon and and um harriet's out there who conflate this information as they so often do what all of the studies do say that correlate apple cider vinegar to fat loss and weight loss they say apple cider vinegar in conjunction with a low calorie diet improves fat loss that's like saying coloring your face blue in conjunction with a low calorie diet improves weight loss. Um, riding in a red sports car in conjunction with a low calorie diet improves fat loss. Do you see how scientists can really conflate the data? They, they can go into a lot of this, a lot of these studies, you know, these, these, you know, highly technical um, studies, you know, because their integrity is on the line. And they can really conflate the, the, the findings in order to sell product. They back into a specific narrative here. And my friends, this is something that we really want to share here on this channel. We are dedicated to bringing, bringing, bringing you, maybe not speaking correctly, we're, we are dedicated to bringing you the most, uh, <laughs> the most honest, evidence-based, and mildly entertaining information on the, the internet with regards to health, fitness, lifestyle management, weight loss, um, and optimal performance. Now, I'm the four-time world MMA trainer of the year, four-time number one best-selling author in the diet and health world. I created the UFC Fit Program, the only diet and exercise program ever endorsed by the UFC. I mean, I have a list of accolades. The cover of men's fitness is being one of the most influential humans um, with regards to health and fitness. So for whatever that's worth, I do have a legitimate background. I have a team of registered dietitians, certified trainers, exercise physiologists on staff that work here for our company. We like to have fun in the way that we present information to you. But at the end of the day, our information is fact-based. It is correct. And we do not come in this with a bias. My job is simply to tell you what works. That's what I get paid to do. And that's what I'm doing here for you. And everything that we push forward, it is simply to tell you what actually works. So apple cider vinegar, no, it, it, it has no benefit to fat loss, no benefit to weight loss, period, the end. No matter what all the fools say, they'll twist and they'll turn all the information, all the marketing out there to try and fit the narrative. Now, what we will say, though, and please stay with me here for another minute before I tell you the MMA story of apple cider vinegar, which is super funny. It's, it's worth the wait. Um, apple cider vinegar does have a place in a healthy lifestyle. We include apple cider vinegar in our meal programs, but usually as a salad dressing. We will mix apple cider vinegar with a extra virgin olive oil. And we'll put that on many of our salads. Those of you who have our Living Lean cookbook, you will see apple cider vinegar in many of the, the salad offerings, right? That's there. Some people might want to drink a shot of apple cider vinegar diluted in room temperature water. Some people enjoy that. I don't enjoy that. Doesn't taste good. It's a mildly irritating 
apple cider vinegar, a little pro tip, should never be drank as a shot. People telling you to shoot a shot of apple cider vinegar, non-diluted, are idiots. They're silly fools because apple cider vinegar can have a burning effect on the esophagus. Apple cider vinegar, undiluted, can have a very nasty, negative, painful effect. And those of you who have some sort of of maybe a uh, um, stomach inflammation, you have some sort of, of acid imbalance, you, you have a, a suboptimal pH in, in your stomach. Those who are suffering from GERD or a hiatal hernia possibly, you will have a negative response to non-diluted apple cider vinegar and possibly even diluted. So anyone who, who desires to attempt apple cider vinegar, what we suggest is massively diluted, like a teaspoon in a 16 ounce glass of water and slowly ease your way in and see before you even put it on a cold salad, see if it causes some sort of discomfort. If it doesn't, then feel free to add a little more. We'll probably add a few teaspoons of apple cider vinegar every other day or so to our normal, healthy lifestyle. Mind you, we consume anywhere, you know, 60 separate ingredients over a single day as a part of our healthy living lean program. If anyone's interested, go to thedoltjdiet.com for our four week or 12 week online personalized diet and exercise program and use this 40% cyber sale discount right now. The cyber sale continues throughout this week. Promo code cyber sale at the Dolce diet.com. It's freaking awesome. So that being said, we wanted to give you the facts. We've gone through the science. We've looked at all the research. There's tons and tons and tons of it out there. Do a Google search. Go through PubMed. That's our favorite resource to really drill in to a lot of the, the peer-reviewed, evidence-based um, scientific studies. But unfortunately, you really have to go through and read the study itself to find out if the the, the scientists are conflating the information. And I find, unfortunately, many times that they are. They're backing into a predetermined conclusion and they're using science in order to forward that narrative, whether or not that's true. Now, not all scientists, but many, and my friends in the academic world, they agree with this because it's, it's, that's one of the, the, the biggest issues with, with science today is the ability to contort it and conflate it. Now, the story, the apple cider vinegar story from the MMA world. So this goes back to, I think, 2008. Um, I'm the head strength coach of Randy Couture's Team Quest in Portland, Oregon, the number one fight team in the world. The IFL had just came to be. So the IFL, the International Fight League, they're making a run at the UFC, believe it or not, at that time. And it's a team-based approach to MMA. Now, I represent the Portland Wolf Pack, which is based out of Team Quest in Portland, Oregon. Pat Militich has the Silverbacks. Henzo Gracie has the Bulldogs. Boss Rutten has the Anacondas. Uh, Don Fry has the, the Razorbacks, I think. Um, Carlos Newton has maybe the Raptors. I forget which, but they took a bunch of the, the MMA legends, the luminaries in the... Ken Shamrock has... I forget which team he had, but there's a lot of, of big name MMA stars that are coaches of the young up and comers. Now, I was a part of the Wolf Pack, again, head strength coach of Team Quest, but I also fought for the Wolf Pack. I was the welterweight on the team, and I set the record in the IFL for fastest knockout when I knocked out a gentleman named Jim Abril in Atlanta, Georgia, and I, I you know, cinched the team victory for my team. We all got bonuses, and I won the Xbox Live the first year it came out. It's 2007. Now we fast forward to 2008. Eight. Now, the Wolfback is fighting in Connecticut at the Mohegan Sun. And who's on the team? It's myself. It's Ryan Schultz. Myself at welterweight. Ryan Schultz at lightweight. Um, who the heck was, was middleweight? Matt Horwich. And the story's about Matt Horwich at middleweight. Light heavyweight, I think, was Aaron Stark. Devin Cole, I believe, was heavyweight. Now, Matt Horwich, and I was actually fighting Antonio McKee, who's a multi-time world champion amateur wrestler. I believe he was an Olympic team alternate, had a very large MMA pedigree career and, and, and such. Um, so anyway, we fly from Portland, Oregon to Connecticut. And 
everyone on the plane, all the team, it's their bunch of characters. Matt Horwich is a character amongst characters. He certainly stands out. I love Matt. He's the first guy to ever give me a staff infection. The first round I ever rolled with them, but that's a whole nother story. So we fly to Connecticut. We get off the plane in Connecticut. We're all hanging out. We're all cutting weight. Uh, we're standing there. We're waiting for our bags to come through the turnstile. And all of a sudden we're like, oh, wow. And, and everyone around is looking around like, what's that smell? Smells like it was a chemical attack. Now I immediately know that's apple cider vinegar. Like what the, who's eating apple cider? I'm looking like, is it on me? It's so potent. It's so powerful. And everyone, hundreds of people in the baggage claim at the, the, I think maybe Bristol, Connecticut, the Connecticut airport, we're all waiting, waiting and waiting. And we're looking around. We don't know what's going on. And all of a sudden our bags come out and everyone's grabbing their bags. It's like, oh, people can't even breathe. It's so potent, so powerful. And Horwich pulls his bag off the, 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 the turnstile. And he's like, oh, son of a gun. They broke my apple cider vinegar. And if you know Matt, he's this really sweet, soft-spoken savage. I mean, Matt won the middleweight title in the IFL, and he beat some really good guys like Benji Raddick. Um, I forget a few of the other names, but Matt was solid. UFC veteran Matt Horwich. Um, well, turns out Horwich got a bottle of apple cider vinegar, put it into his checked luggage, and just threw his checked luggage into the bottom of the plane. Just checked his luggage with a glass bottle of apple cider vinegar. And of course, the guys and gals who are throwing your bags through the airport, it breaks. So Horwich's bag breaks. Apple cider, the apple cider vinegar, the glass bottle, no less, of apple cider vinegar breaks. What does that mean? That means, number one, he's got grass, glass shards all in his luggage. He's got apple cider vinegar that just seeped all over his gear. And now he's sitting there with this bag of apple cider vinegar. He's bummed out. He's bummed out, not because his gear is ruined because the whole airport stinks. He's bummed out simply because he doesn't have any apple cider vinegar to drink. He was hoping to take a shot to detoxify his body at the airport from all the air travel. So he's fo he's focused on where is he going to get more apple cider vinegar at the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut? And do you think they have it? And he's trying to like ask people in the airport. They're looking at him like, what's wrong with you, dude? Get away. Dragging his bag around. It was the funniest dang thing. Then we got to fit. We all got to pack into like those little minivans, right? We're fighting over like who has to travel with Horwich. Then we... <laughs> Now we, we get to the hotel room and we're, we're kind of paired up and the way we're paired up is it worked out great. I'm paired up with Ryan Schultz. who's one of my good friends, lightweight and, and welterweight pair up middleweight and light heavyweight pair up and then um, heavyweight and one of the coaches pair up. So what happens Aaron Stark is like, there's no way I'm staying with Horwitz smelling the way he does. One of our coaches, Dennis Holman, Superman Holman, the, I think beat Matt Hughes twice. Dennis Holman arm barred him. I believe he beat Matt twice um, in his career. Um, so anyway, Holman's one of our coaches also. He's not there yet. So Aaron Stark switches names on the rooms. Aaron jumps in with Devin Cole, the heavyweight, and then puts Holman into the room with Horwich. You snooze, you lose, Dennis. So Holman gets there a day later and is just pissed off. Pissed off because he's now stuck with Horwich. He knows Har uh, Stark did him wrong. Horwich is just still complaining about the apple cider vinegar. Like, gear stinks, Horwich. Like, you guys need to stop complaining. Like, who, who cares? It's apple cider vinegar. Like, Horwich is just, like, breathing it in. Um, it, it was just a, a, a funny experience, but number one, don't travel with apple, apple cider vinegar ever buy it where you are, have Amazon prime, just ship it to your hotel. Um, and number two, it has nothing to do with fat loss. Don't use it for fat loss. Now, apple cider vinegar is beneficial for digestive health for many people. It certainly does improve digestion for many people, but I would suggest you speak with your doctor before consuming it because there are some people that can have a very harsh and nasty negative impact of apple cider vinegar due to the acidity and, and the, the, the acid imbalance that it actually can leave to lead to. Um, 
Yeah, I'm just, I got a bunch of notes here from the team, body weight, body fat, and the, the, all the correlations, again, to, to recap this video for you guys, uh, to recap this video, apple cider vinegar does not have a correlation to fat loss. All of the studies, which were done primarily on animals, what they say is apple cider vinegar may help with fat loss slash weight loss while following a low calorie diet. Therefore, what makes more sense? The weight loss was a result of the apple cider vinegar or the weight loss was a result of the low calorie diet. Of course, we know it was a result of the low calorie diet. I use the, the analogy that when you see a lot of studies like these, these studies are conflated, I believe intentionally because the people who do these studies, they're, they're actually smart individuals. So smart that they understand how to game the system. So the studies that say apple cider vinegar, results in fat loss while following a low calorie diet is no different than saying coloring your face blue will result in fat loss while following a low calorie diet. That's the way it works. Unfortunately, um, it will not improve fat loss. It may improve digestion, but what we found and what the team actually agrees on is individuals who are consuming apple cider vinegar are likely making other intentional choices throughout their day, being more calorie conscious. They're likely eating more appropriate foods. They're likely monitoring their portion control. They're likely following some sort of regimented exercise program. They've likely made lifestyle changes along with the apple cider vinegar. And the totality of these changes is what improves their health, their fitness, their fat loss, their weight loss. So Take that for what it is. I'm going to answer some of your questions right now, and I'm going to jump off. Also, guys and gals, we have a Patreon page. Mike Dolce knows you want to check out the Patreon page. Lots of background, lots of stories, lots of, of information that you won't get here on the live YouTube channel simply because on Patreon, it allows me the opportunity to drill down much deeper. Unfortunately, YouTube has found fit to kind of shadow ban us in the way, um, I think because of our mask conversation earlier in the spring when we spoke about the importance of personal health um, as compared to just mask wearing. I'm probably going to get shadow banned again for saying that. Many of you will see that if you are a subscriber, you might not get notified as often. Therefore, you should click on that notification button, which does seem to be working. So subscribe, click, to the, no click the notification button to get notified when videos like these do come out. Also, Bang, bang, bang. Give the video a thumbs up, my friends, if you appreciate this content, the straightforward way that we try and deliver it, unbiased information. Again, the most honest man in fitness right here. My job is to simply tell you what actually works without any sort of bias in the game. Joe Bloggs, what's up, Joe Bloggs? Raul, what up, F you? Paul Pascal, boom, LMAO. Um, Andrew, thumbs up. Joe, do you think Daniel Craig used roids to get his body, 007 body? Yes, I do. That's my personal opinion. I believe he did. And I'm not mad at him for it. That He's playing James Bond, a superhero, a totally unrealistic character. Of course. And I've seen Daniel look. He's a rather fit, healthy guy. But why wouldn't he take a little something, something if he's, if he's going to be butt ass naked on screen playing a superhero at his age? Daniel's over 50 years old or so. And um, he's not drug tested. And there's no law that says he can or shouldn't. And it's problem. Sure, it's legal. I'm sure he was on medical, um, you know, HRT protocols. Probably nothing crazy. Brian says, good morning, coach. Any thought on ashwagandha KSM 66? Unfortunately, no, I don't have any information on that. I don't have any practical experience with that. I will ask the team if they have any information. And if they do, I'll come back and do a video on that for you. Corey, uh, Corey, coach Corey says, hit the like people. Bang, bang, hit that like button, my friends. I appreciate it if you do. It certainly lets me know you are there and it lets me know you care. And that's all that really matters, regardless of what the YouTube overlords um, want to do with this channel. We are here to help you. Sonia, morning, Dolce. Any tips for getting that Goldilocks sleep seven and a half to nine hours? I struggle to get six and a half to seven hours. Sonia, yes. Here's what you do. 
You go to bed one hour earlier every single night, but you wake up one half hour earlier than you normally do. What we're doing, we are resetting the habit of going to bed. We want to go to bed nine hours before you are scheduled to wake up. That means if you have to wake up at 8 a.m., you must be in bed by 11 p.m. Me personally, I'm in bed typically around 9 p.m. and I wake up between 5 and 6 a.m am on average why nine hours before we have to wake up and think like this do not worry about the time you have to wake up you need to start focusing on the time you should be going to bed so the time you have to wake up simply count backwards all right so if you go to bed nine hours before you have to wake up that gives you time to do whatever you might do in bed for a little while before you slowly wind down and fall asleep this usually allows most people to be asleep more than eight hours prior to waking up. You can, you know, roll around with a significant other. You can have a tickle fight. Um, you can scroll Instagram, maybe. Maybe you can go down the YouTube rabbit hole of the Dolce Diet channel. I do recommend that. Um, you can read a book or meditate or count your blessings, and then you can fall asleep. So that's what I certainly recommend. But waking up a half hour before you need to will help reset your clock. The earlier you wake up, typically the earlier you will want to go to bed. Um, Sean, if you are... Sean, if you are the best, why did... George Masvidal leave you I own, I worked with Masvidal a few times in his career, but I was never his coach. The only times I ever worked with Masvidal was because his manager, Dan Lambert, called me begging and pleading, usually on two or three days notice. So I never had a, a long relationship with George. Now, I like George. I have nothing bad to say about George. And in fact, I don't have nice things to say about George. And every time I worked with George, I saved him. Um, cause I was brought in to save him. I would have loved to have the experience of working with George year round, but unfortunately that's not the way he, he lived his career and that's up to him. George has done very well. So you have the wrong information. I never claimed George on my roster. I was brought in short term as a consultant to assist George. And every time I did, he made weight. And sometimes it was in a bad situation. And uh, again, I think George is great. I've been happy to see how successful he is. Um, so you have bad information, Sean. And I think you're a little bit of a hater. It sounds like you're a little bit of a, a little bit of peanut butter and jelly there, my man. I think so. John Trigg, what's up, John? Good to see you, my brother. Wild Rose says, never heard of apple cider vinegar. Well, now you have. Sean, sorry, coach, for being on Greg's side for a time. Sean, I don't know what Greg who. Being on Greg's side for a time, I just wanted to use. Sean, I don't know what you're saying, man. That looks like maybe it's a, a weird um, typo Siri thing, but I'd certainly love for you to actually take a minute and type concisely so I can understand what you're saying because I don't understand what you're talking about. Joe, what's up, Mike? I just took apple cider vinegar mixed with water, lemon, stevia, and cayenne pepper. I'm not mad at that. If that works for you, awesome. I'm not mad at that at all. Um, yeah, it helps with GERD. Agreed. And that's what we said in this video. Dolce, the conversation with you last week about taking a picture naked have me so motivated to lose weight. I printed that picture and put it in my cork board. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Don't let anyone else see it, right? Um, uh, print it and put it in my cork board to look at every morning. Joel, that is awesome, my friend. Keep it up. Keep going. Um, Ace says, yeah, facts. Good call on GERD as I do suffer from that, but live the healthy side of apple cider vinegar right on. Rosie, definitely aware of too much apple cider vinegar daily. My, whoa. Um, Parsa is doing 100 push, pull, squat, ab exercise from Monday to Friday um, and running and jumping rope in the weekends beside training MMA every day. A smart idea. I'm never mad at body weight work. You can do body weight work all day long every day. So, yeah, enjoy that. Um, and when doing 100 abs, push, pull, squat, does it mostly 
most always need to be weight? Can it be body? No, body weight is perfect. The more often you train, the less weight you should be training with. Jeff, Mike, you posted a pic of Justin's peanut butt butter. Um, it has palm oil in it. Is that okay? It is. So the, the Justin's is one that we use from time to time. It's not the one that we most often use, uh, but it is one that we, we do use when it is um, all that is available. So that's kind of the, the healthier end of the more commercial peanut butter products. But most of the time, most of the time, we actually make our own peanut butter by simply um, grinding peanuts ourselves. Um, answer that. Greg, I have just started three weeks of shredded, which will coincide with my fight. How do you recommend dandelion root, uva ursi, and vitamin C? is supplemented in the week running up to weigh-ins. We start off at approximately 500 milligrams of dandelion, 500 milligrams of uva ursi, taken three times per day. And we slow that slowly go from 500 three times a day to 1,000 three times a day to 1,500 three times a day. Vitamin C, we similarly increase from 1,000 three times a day to 2,000 three times a day to 3,000 three times a day. Um Ebros on the topic of apple cider vinegar, the Santorini Island dressing in the cookbook is awesome. Hard to find good tasting, healthy dressing. So why not save money and make it? That's exactly what we're talking about. And Ebros is talking about our living lean cookbook. Our living lean cookbook volume two is a number one bestseller. All of our books graciously are number one bestsellers. Living lean cookbook volume two is a number one bestseller that was on the iTunes top 10 best-selling cookbook list for over three years straight many many times at number one on the itunes bestseller uh which is super cool amazon number one and bestseller uh so that's super cool also if you are a member of the dolce diet.com use promo code cyber sale right now to save 40 percent to become a member of the dolce diet.com you will have access to all 200 plus dolce diet approved recipes in addition to your own personalized meal plan and exercise program to get in the best shape of our, your life. The three weeks to shredded and the living lean plans all there at the Dolce diet.com multivitamins. Yes or no. Um, I would say no without a blood test to determine any deficiencies. Deficiencies matter. So get a blood test to determine if you have a deficiency. Um, Boris, hey coach, I asked this before, but did not understand your answer. If I plan to eat one kilogram of beef for the week, does it matter if I eat it in two or five servings? Is the difference significant? Yes, it is very significant, Boris, because it's very difficult to digest bulk beef. What does that mean? Well, the food that we consume goes through different stages of digestion. Now, typically we focus on mechanical digestion, which is chewing and then chemical digestion, which is the enzymatic breakdown inside our stomach that it's passed into the small intestine for absorption in, you know, very, very, you know, tiny, tiny molecules. Now we also focus on what we call external digestion, which is the cutting, the chopping, the, the pounding of the food prior to chewing on it, mechanical digestion. If you're eating, let's say 16, 18 ounces or more, you're saying you're eating 2.2 pounds of beef, one kilogram in two to five servings. So one to two, one, a pound over a pound of beef per serving. That's a lot. That's a lot. There's no need for that. Also, we would spread that throughout the day. Smaller portions always work best. And the more external digestion that we can cultivate, the better for absorption in the end state. Um, Deep South, cool to take with Mio. Nope, I would stay away from Mio. Why is that? Because of the sucralose. Sucralose is an inflammatory agent in the microbiome and it decreases digestive capacity. We avoid that. Joel. Hey, Dolce, do you think that doing the three weeks of shredded combined with GSP Rush Fit and Keith Weber's Extreme Kettlebell Workout can help me lose 60 pounds in five to six months? I want to be lean with your help. The meal plan is amazing. The three weeks of shredded meal plan, honestly, will be 90% of your weight loss results. Train everything. Have fun. GSP Rush Fit's great. Kettlebell training is great. Outdoor running is great. Grappling, wrestling, kickboxing is great. CrossFit, great. Um, all the training, all the training, have fun with the training. That's really going to more shape and sculpt your body. The nutrition is going to, is what's going to peel that weight off. 
Shimer, what's up, Uncle Mike? It's awesome to catch you live. Shimer, I appreciate that. It's awesome to have you live here right now. I love the ability to answer every single question, which is why I go live so often, why I don't run around like a lot of these other YouTubers who are just putting clickbait titles out there. They get these highly produced videos. They, they hire some you know amazing, talented young kid to do these video productions where they just basically talk a bunch of BS. They talk crap about each other, these drama videos and whatnot. Uh, what we try and do is we try and add value to your lives by engaging directly with you, by answering as many questions as we can. Those of you who actually take the time to go through and listen to these live chats or watch these live chats, I believe we're able to offer quite a bit of value that you will be able to utilize right now in real time or in the weeks and months to follow because you will now have this information logged into your beautiful brains. Um, uh, John says, Coach, I've lately been reading up on the mind-muscle connection when working out. It is very interesting. Some would say that is everything. Bodybuilders, for sure, the greater the mind-muscle connection, the greater the tension that can be applied onto those individual uh, muscle fibers. So I agree. John, keep it up, my brother. And John, I'm going to call you today, my friend, and get that information. Finally, it's time for the channel upgrade, especially with our new Patreon channel. There's a lot more information i want to be able to bring like if if i had the ability right now to start throwing in a bunch of these studies doing a talk like this it would take this channel to the next level um so john trigg i appreciate you and your, your technical expertise to help also guys and gals feel free to leave comments below this video once it posts if there's any topics that you want to hear i am happy to share them you just have to let me know Parsa, when buying grass-fed meat, should you always buy super lean or can you or some fattier parts be good? Um, both. We buy, we buy both. The only, the only grass-fed, grass-finished meat we buy and consume is from certified, certified Piedmontese here in the United States. That is the only meat I trust to feed my family. Piedmontese.com, P-I-E-D-M-O-N-T-E-S-E. -E -E, certified Piedmontese at Piedmontese.com. Use the Dolce promo code to save 25%. I make no money off your use of that code, my friends. I pass that directly on to you. You use the Dolce promo code. You save 25%. You also get free two-day shipping delivered to your door the highest quality grass-fed grass-finished beef that i trust to feed my own family at certified piedmontese so parsa take that under consideration um, richard is almond butter better than peanut butter nope it's the jab or the cross it's all good and a part of the arsenal alexi dolce i have a question for college athletes if we do very early morning practice, what is the ne next closest thing to the green tea fasted walk for gender specific fat loss? Do you do exactly the same after the workout where you will be likely more glycogen depleted? So just hit that low intensity, steady state cardiovascular exercise after that highly glycolytic activity and you still get a, a positive net effect. Deep South, damn it. I love Mio. Ugh. That, yeah, I would never, I would never, ever. I look at Mia like I look at Windex. I would never drink that. Um, Harsh. Hey, Mike, what's your take on the bulletproof intermass, intermittent fasting, including MCT oil and butter in coffee? I don't know that specific protocol now. Is, is Dave now putting out some sort of bulletproof fasting protocol? But you're not fasting if you're drinking buttered coffee because that contains calories. So that would not be fasting. Um, that would just be drinking fat instead of chewing on fat. I don't know what else is in there. I don't know. But that is not fasting. That's not fasting, right? You're consuming calories. Um, you're eliciting an insulogenic response. Therefore, that is not fasting. Um, that would be, I guess, my answer. But I don't know the exact protocol. So I might be speaking out of turn, to be fair. Ebras can't drink coffee. So I do black tea for caffeine after list. And I have green tea with matcha after breakfast. Should I switch it up? Or is that good to get the most out of the e EGCG? That's great. I mean, if you can't drink black coffee, don't drink it. Like if, if guys and gals, listen, if something doesn't agree with you, if you can't drink it, if it makes you sick, if you have a negative response to it, if your doctor said don't do that, then don't do that. Don't rule number one, my friends, is do no harm. Do no harm. Rule number one, do no harm, right? Do no harm. So you're doing great, my friend. 
Um, what do you think about some grass-fed ground bison? I love bison. I'm in. But I would get wild caught if possible. Or I would go to certified Piedmontese, which I actually do. I personally spend my consumer dollars at Piedmontese.com, P-I-E-D-M-O-N-T-E-S-E.com, a, an American-based, um, grass-fed, grass-finished beef company right here in Nebraska, delivered two days to your house for free with that Dolce 25% promo code. Again, I make no money off your use of that code. I have no vested interest in you using that code. It's simply passed straight on to you, but this is how I feed my family. Um, Alexi, thank you very much. You've got it. Shimer, by the way, coach, how come we didn't do any delayed gratification stuff this year? Last November, it was like, what the fuck is this guy even talking about? Taking my coffee away for a month. It's funny because I actually did my own version of that. I got off the coffee and I switched over to black tea. Now it's like, I got to get off the black tea because I love it that much. And I'm like forgetting about even wanting to drink coffee most of the time. Um, but we have something coming for those of you who are part of our bulletproof group or our, our um, championship blueprint group. If you want to be a part of the blueprint, you need to send an email to blueprint at the Dolce diet.com. We put out a post about this in September, October. We got thousands of responses. Out of the thousands of responses, we whittled that down to a few hundred. We will whittle that down again. Now, there is still time. If you want to dramatically change your life, if you want to follow the blueprint to success, send an email to blueprint at the Dolce diet.com and simply say, I want in. In the next few weeks, you will receive a series of emails. Now, blueprint at the Dolce diet.com. Put us in your preferred sender inbox. If it goes to bulk mail, if it goes to spam mail, if it gets flagged by your security browser, whatever that is, likely you're out because if you do not respond to the emails, to the questions, you are you default out of the group. Why is that? Because we will keep you accountable. We will establish championship habits in your life that we have observed and helped facilitate at the highest level of sport, the highest level of, of industry, the highest level of, of political leaders, the highest level of A-class performers. We've taken best practices amongst the highest performing clients that we've ever worked with and compared that to other best practices of high-level performers known around the world. And we've distilled this down into a very specific blueprint that will dramatically help you improve all aspects of your life. But there's no room for excuses. There's no, my dog ate the homework. I didn't check my email. I saw this late because... You're just not ready for it. This is only for the A plus potential performers out there. Simply send me an email to blueprint at the Dolce diet.com and just say, I want in over the next week or two, you will receive an email. And in that email, you're going to be given a, a test, ask a question. There will be something for you to do and respond back. If you do not do that, well, you're off the list. You're out. And it makes it easier for us. If you do do that, you need to follow directions because if you respond back, but you don't follow directions, well, you're out once again, because you can't clearly, or you clearly can't follow basic, simple directions. Everything we send to you will be a test. Everything that happens in your life is a test. We will help you pass these tests. Blueprint at the Dolce diet .com. Um, What else? What else? What else? Um, Manila. Hey, coach, do you look at raw honey or do you buy the regular? We get raw local honey uh, for sure. Alexi, bulletproof intermittent fasting protocols just to do the 16 feeding window. But if you do the fat coffee for appetite suppressant and calories, which is weird, I guess I don't recommend kills your adrenals over time. That's it's good marketing on Dave's part for sure. It's going to help him slang more coffee. Feels good for a few weeks, but low energy over time for sure. Just effing eat a good food like Dolce says. Thank you, Sarah Kay. What's up, Sarah Kay? 
Uh, morning, Dolce Gang. You just spit a ton of good info. Thank you. I appreciate that, Sarah. I'm trying hard to give you guys the most honest, actionable, evidence-based information out there. And I think we're doing a pretty dang job. And if you guys appreciate that, bang, bang, give this video a quick thumbs up. I appreciate you for participating. Um, Anthony G, what is your opinion on the potential vaccine? Well, my opinion is I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it. Number why, Dolce? Why won't you take it? Why should I? I fit into the category of individuals that has a near zero risk rate. I have a greater risk of the flu than I do of this issue. If you look at the data, the true medical data, remember we had Dr. David Hawks, virologist on this podcast on our show a few months back and we spoke about it. I've spoken to many doctors since then. In my age, health, fitness category, I have a near zero negative impact of this issue. And I very much do believe I've previously had it back in January and February when I was traveling around the world in international airports. And I had like three days of just feeling a little off. But I digress. I do not believe in taking a vaccine. Personally, my choice that is untested, unproven, and I do not fit into the high-risk category. Does that mean some people should not take it? Of course not. Some people in the high-risk category, it likely makes sense for them to take it. Because if it gives them 1%, 10%, 50% protection against something that they have a high probability of negative health outcomes, then it makes more sense. But someone at my age and stage of life with my level of health and near zero comorbidities, I have zero comorbidities, perfect, everything is perfect, why would I? Also, I'm not a fan of taking things that are rushed through the process. They say most vaccines take seven to nine years, and this one was completed in seven to nine months. Well, I'm a big believer in, in a lot of the science out there, but at the same time, that vaccine, in my opinion, wasn't made for someone like me. It was made for people who are at high risk. So I'm just going to sit back on my plot of land and watch what happens in the world. And maybe 20, 30 years from now, when I am an older individual, and now I'm in a category where there is a small percentage of risk, I will consider that at that point. That's just the way I look at it. You do you, speak with your doctor, do what's right for you. Sarah Kay, always appreciate the facts you share. Your apple cider vinegar story cracked me and the kiddo up. Good. Hey, hey, hey. What's the name of the, the kiddo up there? I see him on your, your IG stream. So good to see you guys. And uh, hello to the, the young man in the house. Very cool. Lucas, yo, coach, I want a reference to three fat loss videos you had. I wonder what is optimal time to rest between set and reps. Thanks. Well, rest period, we typically keep between 90 and 180 seconds. That's a minute and a half to about three minutes, depending on how hard you are pushing. Um, depending on the style of training that you're doing, usually about two minutes or so is a good general estimate. If you're pushing a higher end heavy sets, you're really looking to PR. I'm going to push it closer to three minutes. If you're focused more of just time under tension with relatively lighter loads, really good form, you can start to scale that back a little bit. Um, uh, Mr. Showtime. I sent an email for the blueprint weeks ago, but no response. Exactly, Mr. Showtime. I appreciate that. As I said, the response will come in the next few weeks. We've been aggregating. We've received thousands, thousands of inquiries to be a part of the blueprint. Not everyone will be selected. Thousands. What we're going to do here in the next two weeks or so, we will send. Everyone will get the follow-up email. Everyone will get the follow-up email and that follow-up email will dictate who makes it to the next cut. There will be cuts. Who will be responsive? Who will follow directions? Who will be someone we believe will actually see this through? 
I am not interested in, in working with people who will not do what they have to do to see this through and get it done because they will take the place of someone who is more deserving. Your, your background doesn't matter. Your health history doesn't matter. Your economic um, um, level doesn't matter. Nothing matters. The only thing that matters is you are focused. You are motivated. You are willing to take direction. You are coachable. You have a good attitude and you're ready to work. If you fit that mold, you're in. You will be in. And that's the way our, or our questions are set up for you guys. So just give it a couple more weeks. Within the next two weeks, you'll know. Um, Anthony, do you prefer sumo or traditional deadlifts or just do whatever you feel that day? I'm more of a conventional deadlifter um, simply because the sumo stance um, always hurt. It always hurt my hips. And if it hurts, it's not worthwhile for me. Now, I will pull sometimes a modified sumo, which is the Eddie Cone style of deadlifting, uh, which isn't ultra wide. It's, it's more just like uh, my squat stance, actually. So I'm kind of a wide stance squatter. Um, and years ago, when I was a young man powerlifting here in, in you know, New Jersey, I worked with a lot of high-level state national, um, nationally ranked powerlifters. Very few actually did the ultra wide sumo style, like a Chuck Vogelpool style. Um, a lot of us did the modified, the Eddie Cone style. That one feels great, although my top end, my, the heaviest weights I can deadlift are conventional. Um, I always had, it's because I have relatively long arms um, for my, my height and stature, and I have a, you know, a, a good center of gravity. So I'm well built for a narrow stance squat. Feels good, feels natural. I never get hurt that way. Nothing hurts afterwards. I can move a ton of weight. I can pull through my sticking points. Um, I just feel more hip strain deep in the socket as my, my legs go wider. But that's individual. I got some friends. They, they're horrible at conventional. And they, like their, their, their ultra-wide sumo is amazing. Um, Kaysen. He is quite the creative MMA performer himself. Thanks for the love. Absolutely, Sarah K. Good to see you. Casey, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, my friend. Keep it up. Keep going. Keep listening to mom. She's, she's got you. She's got it on. Got it on point. Uh, Mr. Showtime, thank you very much for your honest answer. I feel honored. Um, I'm a PT and follow your old rule on the cancellation. If you don't give 24 to 48 hours notice to cancel on them, not that I do, then I give them the extra session on my dime. That's the way. And that earns respect. And that builds you a long-term clientele. Russell Garcia, day two of three weeks to shred it. And I'm already down four pounds. I feel fantastic and have so much energy. Dolce giving away gems. I appreciate that. Russell is following the three weeks to shredded program at the Dolce diet.com. The three weeks to shredded program is designed to lose 21 pounds in 21 days. It was designed for our world-class athletes getting ready for weight class oriented sports like the UFC, the NCAA wrestling and IBJJF jiu-jitsu and pro boxing and all that's for our weight class oriented athletes we then turned this into an online membership platform at the dolce diet.com which is now the number one rated online healthy weight loss platform where you can lose 21 pounds in 21 days if you have the weight to lose and you are willing to do the work most people complain about number one complaint and i gotta be honest with you there's so much food dolce do i have to eat all this food number two complaint I have to buy all new clothes because none of my clothes fit me anymore. This is again at the Dolce diet.com right now. We are still running our cyber sale promo code is cyber sale. You will save 40% right now on the number one rated online weight loss platform. Why would you not save the money right now? Start on Monday, start next week, start January 1st. You can pick your start date anytime in the future. And this is a great holiday gift. Many of you, have had such great success on it yourself. You are now gifting it to other people this holiday season. That's super cool. But be sure to save 40% with that CyberSale discount code. Um, Anthony G. Also, do you feel going for one rep maxes in the gym is not worth the risk reward if you are not a power lifter? Yeah, you know, I mean, you can if you, you, you're you intelligent, you're smart, you're competent, you're safe, you have good training partners around. You don't have to go for a one rep max. 
Like a three rep max, yeah, okay, that's good. A five, a six rep, that's great. What are your goals though? If, if you're not a competitive power lifter, you don't really have to worry about it that much. Are you seeing progressions is what we focus on. Um, Keith, strong man, bang, bang. Would you recommend whey isolate protein before and after workouts? Yeah, we actually hit our whey isolate intra workout, which is during the workout, about you know two thirds of the way into the workout. We want to drip in 20, 30 grams of uh, cross flow, micro filtered, grass fed whey protein isolate mixed in water only to improve digestion. Guys and gals, that is it. This video is over. I appreciate you guys for being here. Remember the Mike Dolce Knows Patreon channel. If you like this video, you want to really go down deep where I speak my mind where not I don't have to worry about all the internet censors the YouTube the Twitter the Facebook the Instagram censors always trying to hold the man down you want to check out the Patreon channel behind the scenes of MMA like you've never heard it before exercise databases workouts live training together I started the new finance channel um inside patreon where i'm talking a lot about finances for those of you who want to hear that content not so much on youtube for whatever reason those videos kind of fail miserably here so but many of you hundreds of you want to hear it check out the mike dolce knows on patreon there's so much great information over there lots of direct engagement and you guys have the ability to to text me like all day, every day, I get hundreds of messages now over there and I answer each and every one, which is awesome. Um, Patreon allows that much greater engagement, which is why I love Patreon. So check out the Mike Dolce Knows channel on Patreon. Um, again, Cyber Sale, the Dolce Diet.com. Also, Dolce Diet Shop.com. Cyber Sale, same promo code, save 40%, one on one consultations, books, black packs, t shirts, all that fun stuff. That's all available for you. I will be back tomorrow. I will do another video tomorrow. Leave comments below this video. Let me know what you want to hear about. What topics do you want to hear? I am here for you. I am a vessel for you to improve your life. So however I can do that, I am so happy to do so. Bang, bang. Remember, give this video a thumbs up. If you're here, if you appreciate it, I appreciate you for doing that. Subscribe if you haven't. Click that little bell for notifications so you know when we go live. I answer every single question. Sarah K says, what is Patreon? Patreon is is a just it's a state of the art platform that allows creators like myself to have a much deeper personal relationship with you guys. I can post all these videos. There's a lot of videos that I can post, but I can segment the videos by specific topics and I don't have to worry about being censored by the techno aristocrats. I can speak my mind, I can tell the truth, I can really break things down, I can use, you know, the uh, potty mouth every so often. I can talk about controversial topics. I can Blast a lot of the frauds, which is what we're working on right now. Blasting a lot of these frauds by name, which I don't do publicly here. But on Patreon, it's a closed channel, so I can have a much deeper conversation. We're building out a complete fitness network inside Patreon. We're, we're filming a database this weekend now that the studio is finally almost finished of hundreds of exercise, um, individual exercises per body group, per muscle group, per motion. Uh, we're filming short workouts, 5, 10, 20-minute workouts that will live on there that you can do at home, do anywhere. I have a team of, of, you know, fitness models and experts that will be coming in that will be on camera training also with us on um, the Patreon channel is growing. It will be rapidly growing and it's there and available for you guys. If, if you want to take part in that, you want the extra level, just check out the Mike Dolce Knows channel on Patreon over the next four weeks. It will, it, it will always keep growing for sure. We keep adding to it. It keeps growing. We're now unlocking something that is personal workouts where it will be just one-on-one -on -one, me and you in like your house, in your room, in your gym through a zoom concept where I'll like, I'll be able to see you training. All right, set the camera up, put it on a tripod, whatever. And like, let's talk about the workout. You're doing squats, you're doing whatever it is. So we're, we're working on some functionality like that. One of our Patreon members, Nick L who's actually a member here, it was his suggestion. And I put a little, I mentioned it in yesterday's video and I got a good number. I got about 10% of this, the registered users actually almost 20%. Now that I think about it, of the registered users were very interested in that. That's, that's a, a high number. So when, Whatever you guys want, I am here for you to help you. Um, cool. I'll look it up right on Sarah K. Good to see you. I appreciate you. All right, guys and gals, I appreciate you all. Thank you for being here. And until next time, boom.